Hey everybody, so today I just want to talk a little bit about um, uh, a problem with some microphones that we've actually been seeing pretty recently. Um, this is a fix that's really not too hard, um, but it can also be giving people some problems, especially if you have like Zoom or you're act trying to access some websites or something like that, that's just the microphone just doesn't seem to be working. This particular client actually has a brand new machine that has problems um, accessing it from the mic, so it doesn't really seem to be a hardware issue. Um, sometimes it can be, but we want to make sure that we kind of show you guys what this type of fix is. So this type of fix is more aimed for the permission settings actually in Windows. Ever since the 1903 update, they have um, actually a permissions that go in the corner there, and you can always see if the, your microphone is being accessed. If you don't see a microphone icon in the bottom right corner, um, then that means your microphone isn't being used at that time. So this fix is mainly going to be geared towards that if you don't see that microphone even when you're trying to access something. Um, so just look forward to that. So let me show you exactly what we're talking about here for the permission setting in particular. Okay, so at least here we can see that the microphone is actually being recognized in the device manager, which is fine. And it's all good. But when we click on like a memo or something like that, it says that we need to set up a microphone in a setting. If you go to the sound settings, you can actually see here that when you do anything to test your microphone on this bottom part here, there should be a level going up showing that there should be some type of sound. Unfortunately, there's not here. And what we can do is go to the microphone privacy settings because it looks like that the hardware was good, but the software isn't. And we can actually see here that they allow apps to access your microphone is checked off. If you check on, and then you want to make sure that that little icon here is going to be showing the microphone. And you want to make sure you do all the apps that are, are going to be allowed to be accessed to the, by the microphone. And just scroll down make sure everything else looks pretty good. Everything else is enabled. I just did all just, just for the heck of it in this video. Once you do that, now you can go back to that sound setting. And you can see that the input, um, if we make any type of noise, you can see the input that we see that the microphone actually icon on the bottom is, is saying that the microphone is being active in settings. And now you can also see now the microphone seems to be working because the level is going up. It's picking up a receptive noise there. And it says the settings app may be using your microphone. If you go back to the memos app, you can kind of see the same thing. Now it says two apps are using your microphone, which is the settings and the voice memo app. Okay, so that was just showing you how the permission setting works and uh, how you can en enable it there so at least it can be accessing the microphone through like any type of program that's running on your computer in particular. I'm going to show you real quick as well if you're using certain websites or you're just having a if you're using certain websites especially like open meeting or go to meeting sometimes they have it built in the actual browser itself you can actually use this this type of fix as well. Try opening up a web page that you're having trouble with and you can actually hit site permissions. You can do this in Edge or Chrome or any other type of web browser and uh, usually they have accessibility settings for permissions you can do cameras you can use do microphone and you want to do always allow um, sometimes if you get a prompt at the top it might come as a prompt and then it might just block itself or you might have accidentally blocked it but you can always change the setting now all right so that kind of just shows you how to do the permission setting fix for the microphone as well as doing it for the permissions not only for the OS for Windows but also for doing it for the web browser Again, if you don't see that icon in the bottom right corner, especially if you have an update Windows 10 around 1903, um, if you don't see that microphone icon, then the microphone isn't going to be accessed. They might have an older um, OS, and you should definitely update it and see if there's any other problems maybe with, uh, with the hardware because there could be something else going on. But I really want to focus more on just the software side and, and the permission settings on this video. Um, if you don't see it in the hardware settings itself, like if you check even the device manager and you don't see it there, then they might have a hardware issue in particular. Um, but it, this is again to say it mainly if it's just focused on the permission settings for it. It's pretty cool actually how they do it because they're actually showing you that something is your microphone is being accessed and that's good because if someone if you don't want it to be accessed and it's you see that it's coming up as something that is accessed that means maybe a program that you left open is running. You, especially if you have o OBS open all the time it's going to be showing that the microphone icons there if you have probably Zoom, it's probably, probably going to be showing there as well, GoToMeetings. Um, but you always want to make sure you close those if you're not using them, because for, especially for privacy reasons. 
So again, this is a good privacy thing that at least Windows has done. And it's actually a good little troubleshooting thing that Windows has done as well. Because if you don't see that, then you're kind of like, why isn't it working or anything, you know, type of thing. Well, it's an extra layer of security that's been added and it does, it does a much better thing long run. And um, I really like this approach and how they're going with it. Um, to show you that there's a visual icon that's actually showing you when it's being used. So anyways, I really hope this helped you guys out and you guys uh, learned something today about it. Especially how the way the, the world is going nowadays, you want to have the easiest tips you can possible. If, um, if you see something outside of this, you can at least try to troubleshoot this yourself because it's a very simple, straightforward setting that you can do for a fix. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. What type of programs do you guys actually use for telecommunicating and does it actually bring up that i think discord would uh, maybe some things like discord should bring it up um obs again of zoom is there any other programs you guys have tried just uh, i'm always curious to see what you guys use especially um nowadays anything else would be in the description below any of the parts we use in these videos are always located in the description below so please check it out always hit that notification bell too to know when we upload sometimes the google still doesn't even put the subscription in box and it's easy to miss some of the videos that we upload so that's a great way to at least know that we when we upload and you'll get an alert when we do um but it really does help us a lot so again thanks for all the support and everything and we will see you the next one